Right, in this bit I'm just going to take you through the tools and equipment you're going to need to make your own nets. Firstly the twine. This one is hemp. I absolutely love working with this stuff. This is my choice material for my nets. Uh, the advantages of hemp is it's strong to start with, it's easy to work with, it's great on the hands when you're pulling your knots and also it only requires a single knot which I'll go into that a bit later because the, the old nylon needs a double knot. Uh, the disadvantage is it's quite expensive and also it's not rot proof. This stuff does not like the wet. You can use it out in the wet, out in the field, uh, but to store it you, you, you've got to dry it, you've got to dry it out before you store it because it will rot. Otherwise excellent stuff. Next we've got nylon. Show you that. Uh, the uh, advantages of this stuff, it's strong again. You can see that, I don't know if you can yep, just sort of see it. Uh, it's cheaper than hemp, you get more on a reel. Uh, and with this stuff it is rot proof. This stuff doesn't bother with the weather, the doesn't bother doesn't mind getting wet. You can chuck it in the way, chuck it in the bag, store it away when it's wet, and it will come to no harm. The uh, disadvantages of this is that it's a bit fiddly to work with, being that it's uh, so thin. It's a bit harsh on your hands, you know, when you're pulling your knots, and also re requires a double knot. This stuff, unlike hemp requires just a single knot, this requires a double knot, otherwise your knots are going to slip. And it comes in two thicknesses, this is 4Z, which is a thinner one, and it also comes in 6Z, which is uh, slightly thicker. And that's your nylon. Right, next we've got your needles. Just depends on what sort of size net you're making, if you're making a small say rat net, rat purse net, fishing net, or whatever, that's got very fine meshes which uh, use your little net and then you go up to your big net if you're using something if you're making a, a hammock, anything like that, anything that's got big meshes use a big net needle. For rabbiting, for rabbit nets, long nets, purse nets this is the baby you're going to use, it's the 8 inch the 8 inch net needle. So it's that one there that's them. And then next we got your mesh stick. Right, the size of your mesh stick governs the size of your net. The mesh of your net. The smaller your mesh stick, the finer, the smaller the mesh on your net. You can make these any size you want, doesn't matter. What uh, you can use, uh, hang on, if you just get some of these. I use hardwood. You can make them out of anything you want actually. These are just bits of wood I got. They've not been prepared yet. You know, you've got to just sand the edges, make it all nice and smooth. Uh, I use hardwood. You, as I say you can make them out of anything you want. These are bits of ply. That's about an inch. That's about two inch. Two and a quarter say. Just smooth the edges. About four, five inches in length. But as I say, the actual width governs the actual mesh size on your net. If you're using, uh, if you want to make a, a rat net, say, you'd use something like that. A little small, you'd get very fine meshes on them. Uh, for rabbits, use two, two and a quarter. Be perfect. That's, that's your meshes. And lastly, uh, you got your rings. This is an inch ring. They come an inch, inch and a half, two inch for rabbits, long nets, purse nets, gate nets. You'd use an inch ring like that for fox nets or as I say a hammock, something strong, you'd use a two inch net, something like that. And that's your net. 
So I've just gone through the basics of your, your tools. And in my next video, I'll go into a bit more detail of how to load your needle and I'll show you how to start making your own nets. Right, welcome to net making part two. <clears throat> right, just go through the equipment that you'd be using. That's the mesh stick, two and a quarter, two inch, ideal for rabbit nets. You want your eight inch net needle, your twine and your one inch ring. I'll explain the, that later, what's that doing on a bit of cord. Right, first thing you do is load your needle. Just unravel a bit of the uh, twine, get your needle, just make a slight loop, pass it over the tongue of the needle, just hold it with your thumb, pass it underneath, turn your needle over, over the tongue, underneath, turn the needle over, over the tongue, underneath, over the tongue, just unravel a bit more twine, under the needle, turn the needle round, over the tongue, under the needle, over the tongue, under the needle, over the tongue. Basically just keep on doing that until you've got a fully loaded needle. Right, so there we have our fully loaded needle, like so. When it's fully loaded obviously just snip the end off. Right, to start with you want to make a loop, this is about 2-3 foot long, whatever. Make a loop of your twine, uh, pass it through your needle, back through it through the loop so that your needle is attached to it, and then attach this twine onto an anchor point, uh, hook, whatever, make sure that it's really strong because you're going to have to really give it a good pull to get your knot secure. Okay, once you've done that, just get just unravel a bit of twine, tie it onto your to your ring, and I'll go through this first steps slowly as I can, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, just connect that. Just pull it tight. Right, take your mesh stick, place it behind your twine, at the top of the mesh stick, just at the bottom of the ring. Take up a bit of slack twine there, yeah. Right, go from behind, come up, through. The back of the ring, take your needle back through the loop you've just made and pull tight. Just hold that with your thumb take your needle, go down through the front of the ring and back through the loop you've just made and pull tight and that locks your ring. That's it, that's your first first mesh made. To make your second one do exactly the same thing. Needle up through the back of the needle of the ring back through the loop pull tight just hold it with your thumb take your needle 
down through the front of the ring back through the loop pull tight and it's your second mesh third mesh just keep going round the back through the loop pull it tight just keep your your meshes all nice and tidy just hold it with your thumb needle down through the ring back through the loop pull tight now when you're pulling tight you actually pull down on the twine you don't pull down on the mesh stick just hold pull the mesh stick in place and pull down on the twine against the ring and again let's make another mesh up through the back of the ring back through the loop you've just made pull tightly get all your meshes nice and tidy in a row just hold it with your thumb to lock the knot back through the front of the ring into your loop pull tight and as you can see you can see your meshes forming once more up through the back back through your loop pull tight hold it with your thumb through the front of the ring back through your loop pull tight do one more up through the back of your ring back through your loop tidy your meshes up pull tight hold it with your thumb down through the front of the ring back through your loop Pull tight. Just do one more. Up through the back. Round through your loop. Pull it tight. Just hold it with your thumb. Down through the front of the ring. Back through your loop and pull it tight to lock your knot and there you can see your mesh is formed. I've got what half a dozen or so there. Uh, for a rabbit net you want 15, 15 meshes but for demonstration purposes I'll, I'll just do half a dozen just so you can see and get the idea of what's going on. Right, and now you can just ease them off your mesh stick. Just pop your mesh stick down and there you can see. There's your first row of meshes that you just formed. Right, so you start on your second mesh, row of meshes. Turn your needle round. Hang on, I think I'll just have to adjust the camera here. Just bear with me. Just uh, 
Lower it down a fraction there. You can see what's going on. Let's just check it. Yeah, I think uh, just a touch more. Bear with me. Make sure that you see exactly what's what's happening. That'll do. Right. As I say, turn your knee, uh, ring round. Right, get your mesh stick. Oops. Just unravel a bit of twine. Right. Hold it. It's like your first mesh. Like you, when you started with your ring, it's just at the top of the mesh stick. The twine running down the front, the face of the mesh stick. Right, now what you've got to be careful here that you're not jumping a mesh stick, a uh, mesh. Right, let's make the sec first of the second row. As we did before, you come up around the back, through your first mesh that we've made earlier. And just pull it through and just pull it tight. Put it a bit down there, you can see what's happening. Right. So that your bottom of your mesh, your first mesh, is on the top of your mesh stick. Pull it tight, pull everything nice and tight. Hold it with your thumb. Right, take your needle, pass it to the left of your first mesh. And back through your loop. Pull it tight. As I say, this is hemp, it only requires uh, one knot, whereas uh, nylon requires two knots. So that's your first mesh, second, first mesh of your second row, I should say. Right, second mesh, bring it around the back, up through the second mesh of the first row. Pull it tight, hold it with your thumb, take your needle, pass it through the left of the second mesh that you've just come through, take your needle around, pass it through your loop and pull it tight. You do exactly the same again, again you just keep going. Pass it up through the back of your next loop, pull it tight, take your needle, pass it down through the left of the mesh you've just put your needle through, back through your loop. And pull it tight, and that's it. Basically, you just you just keep going until you come to the end. And that's your second row of meshes done, and uh, that's the last one of your mesh of your second row. And that's what it should look like. As I say, I'm only doing half a dozen, just for demo purposes. If you're making a rabbit person, there, you'll be doing up to fifteen meshes. And all you do is just uh, peel it off your mesh stick. And as you can see, you can see your net starting to form. That's your second row of meshes. See them forming there. And in part two of the video, I'll show you how to continue with your net uh, and also how to finish it off onto your second ring and also how to thread your nylon through the outer edge. Right, by this time you're uh, about time to finish off your net. 
you should have uh, 15 meshes wide and 17 or 18 meshes in length. As I say, this is only demonstration. I've only done half a dozen wide and half a dozen or so long just to just show you what to, to do. Right, to finish off your net, this is your last row of meshes. Just peel them off your mesh stick. Discard your mesh stick because you, you will no longer need it. Get your ring. Right, what you do, in through the front of your ring, take it up to your first mesh, take it through the back of your mesh, pull it tight, hold it with your thumb to the left. of the mesh through the loop. Pull tight to lock the knot. Same again. Back through the front of the ring. Up through the second mesh Hold it with your thumb, put your needle to the left of the mesh, back through your loop, pull tight to lock the knot, through the front of the ring, up through the next mesh, hold it with your thumb, put your needle to the left of the mesh, back through the loop, pull the knot tight and basically just keep repeating this. Through the ring, up through the mesh, take your needle to the left of your mesh, back through your loop, pull the knot tight, through your ring, back up through your mesh. Pull the twine tight, needle down to the left of your mesh, back through your loop, pull the knot tight, through your needle. through your mesh, push your needle left of the mesh, pull your knot tight, needle front of the ring, Up through the mesh to the left <coughs> of your mesh, back through the loop, <coughs> and also for your last mesh, just do a second knot, just double knot it, and that's it. Get a bit of 
scissors. Just trim the twine. And that's it. That's the second ring attached to your net. And now, next little bit, I'll show you how to attach the draw cords. Right, uh, to attach your draw cord, it's a simple matter of just making a bit of a loop on the top ring, threading it every other through the edge, over, under, over, under, all the way down to the bottom ring, take it through to the bottom ring, do the same for the other side, down through the bottom ring, tie a little knot, and then attach your peg. And that's it, job done. As I say, this is a little miniature version of a purse net. Uh, your standard size will be just open that up a touch, it'll be 15 meshes wide by 17 or 18 meshes in length. And that's it. Job done. There you go. Out to ready to catch your next rabbit.